Tomorrow, Toledo City Council will take a vote about the quality of life in the Glass City. Specifically, it's about the need for trees. According to City of Toledo officials, on average, Toledo's only has about 17% tree coverage, and they say that falls short of their 35 to 40% goal to better communities, people, and the climate. Dominique O'Neill joins us in studio with some details about this program. Dominique, how would people benefit from this project? Well, Jeff and Kaylee, it's called the RE Tree Program. Council will vote on a $6 million federal grant the city officials say would benefit more than 83,000 people. The U.S. Forestry Service awarded this grant to the city, and it's a program funded through the Inflation Reduction Act. Toledo city officials say there's not enough of something in this video. You see, the city's got about $6.1 million in grant money right now to spend on trees. We are going to use that money to plant over 10,000 trees um, throughout the city of Toledo, all in communities that the federal government considers disadvantaged. That money was from a grant awarded in September. The retreat program is meant to increase the amount of tree canopy cover in urban areas, particularly disadvantaged communities with low levels of tree canopy. We talked to a local tree expert about the importance of seeing more tree coverage. You're going to see a significant uh, in temperature increase without mature trees around to give the shade off that they need. And then the obvious is, you know, we need trees like trees need us um, to, to keep us healthy. He says that cooling impact can help alleviate the urban heat island effect and ultimately reduce electric bills. The city wants to put trees along public streets and public parks, on public owned vacant lots and in metro parks. This program is being paid for 100 percent by the federal government, so it's not costing the city of Toledo anything to do this. And um, I think it's uh, it's a really exciting program that's that's going to have a lot of great impact. Simon Nee says the next step is to formally sign a grant agreement with the U.S. Forest Service, which is basically a contract that says, here's our plan and here's what we're going to do. And then the Forest Service awards the money. He says actual planning should begin next year and will take place for the next four if council approves it. And here's something else. The city plans to have a youth program where TPS students will actually be paid to learn urban forestry skills and in turn have an opportunity to city forestry employment after they graduate from the program. And like we mentioned, Toledo City Council is set to vote on accepting the grant tomorrow. Reporting in studio, Dominique O'Neill, WTO 11.